Hello and welcome to another video from your University of New Money, University of New Mercy. This is going to be the day 314 video, I believe. I'm actually getting it out on time. Uh, I wanted to do a longer video because it's the end of the day. Been working hard today, hung out with mom, but had some time tonight, had enough energy, and I wanted to share some pictures from my phone, some videos too, so that's the main reason. Not even crypto related. Um, I am watching George from Cryptos or Us right now on his live stream. He's going over the plan for uh, essentially Terra 2.0, whatever they're going to call it. Um, I'm going to keep track of Terra. I wouldn't advise uh, investing in it right now, but, you know, Do Kwan and company, they're coming up with an interesting plan. I mean, George is talking about the 35% going pre-attack where there's a vesting schedule. Um, the fact that this new Terra is not going to be involved with the stable coin, UST. So, I mean, Terra has enough name recognition that I would be silly not to consider investing in it if it can regain trust in the community if uh, the developers stick around. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of people who are forever scarred by this. I feel bad for the people who lost their life savings, maybe even lost their life over this. It's horrible. But, um, you know, Terra was a top eight, top ten project. And so if they can get back to that uh, range at an insanely discounted price, I would consider getting in. I've got 10 coins essentially in my portfolio now. It's a nice round number. Getting to 11 is not something I'm looking toward. But I am keeping my eye on Terra very similar to George. And since I watch George and Cryptos R Us all the time, that's nothing I would advise investing in, but something to keep an eye on. Another thing to keep my eye on is my mic. Hopefully I've fixed my laptop issues. It's been running for three or four straight days now. No crashing, no issues, nothing. The CPU is well below 100%. Um, the mic seems to be working. Maybe it just took a little bit of tinkering and working the bugs out, but with my new power adapter, 180 watts, with my two Klim Cool Plus vacuum air suckers, with uh, my six fan base, uh, just, you know, cleaning out my laptop in general, running advanced system care. I think things are working. So if I didn't just jinx that. But let me go ahead and start sharing my screen here. We'll share screen, run, screen one right now. Okay, should be sharing now, doing the price updates for the day. I haven't read off the prices just from top to bottom in a while. And if I feel like doing that, I'm just going to highlight the important things. Bitcoin around 30,000, that seems to be stabilized for now. Ethereum around 2,000, that's fairly stable. My passive income, I think it was down, rounding down to $2 yet, but definitely insanely low levels. Um, looking at Gamma. The reason I'm still bullish on Aqua as opposed to Gamma, and I just did this math again. Um, let me show it to you all, to you guys and girls out there watching. I'll hit the notification bell. Looks like my CPU has hit 100%. I'll try to slow down talking to let things really stabilize. It says low system resources. I just know this is going to be choppy on YouTube, so I don't want to talk too much. I'm hoping things just really calm down. Okay, there we go. It's off of 100%, so maybe I can get back to rattling off nonstop like I usually do. Anyway, you see this 96,000? This was at 100,000. Aqua is a deflationary or deflationary because most people call Bitcoin deflationary and the fact that there's only going to be 21 million, you can never go up above that number. So um, technically even like Ethereum, which, you know, due to the burning of Ethereum, there is a cap for Bitcoin. But not only does Aqua have a cap, they are burning the coins. So it's decreasing in value. So even if we just keep a constant market cap, which I expect, I expect the price of Aqua to explode. Whereas for Gamma, what has me concerned is on a daily level, it's not a big deal. They're minting 100,000 only. Increasing, essentially, inflation for Gamma is 0.4%. 4% per day. So on a daily basis, increasing the supply by 0.44% isn't a huge deal. But if you extrapolate that over the course of a year, that's essentially increasing the supply over 100% to 160%. Because over the course of a year, I mean, this is simple math, is you're going to, there's only 22.7 million coins right now. So you're more than doubling the supply in a year. So that's a big deal. 
Um, so in terms of the price of gamma increasing versus the price of aqua, it's way easier to see aqua just explode in value compared to gamma. Gamma could stay stagnant even if market cap increases just because you're more than doubling the coins over the next year. Market cap could increase and the price of gamma could actually decrease over time uh, even with aqua exploding due to the deflationary nature. So that's why I'm on Planet Finance. I'll be increasing my position in both coins, mostly through the aqua uh, Mostly for Aqua, I'm going to just acquire Aqua directly and put it on the Infinity Vault here. For Gamma, I collect that as rewards for Aqua Infinity Vault, Gamma Infinity Vault, Aqua BNB LP, and Gamma BNB LP. So I just get Gamma. I don't have to buy that. Um, but if I want more Aqua, I'm just going to buy it directly and then put it in my Infinity Vault. If I want more Gamma, I'm probably just going to buy percent APY. These percentages are all kind of out of whack right now. Um, take them with a grain of salt. That's why I do my own calculation in my spreadsheet. I get less than what's calculated at Planet Finance, but I don't think those are fear tactics by Planet Finance. I might be using more conservative mathematics or whatever it is. I don't think it's such a big different formulas, different mathematical uh, assumptions. Maybe they, they're integrating, you know, uh, expecting the price of aqua and gamma to go up over time as opposed to down. Who knows what it is? I think Planet Finance is legit, but I'm going to show you my actual daily passive income in my spreadsheet, which I think is more accurate than the one they're calculating. And right now it's down below eight, uh, below, actually I have this wrong. I forgot my time's always messed up since I'm on Lint time. I'm actually getting above $3 per day passive income. This is going to round to $3 for my thumbnail still. So nothing changed. It's going to be $3 on my thumbnail. But this looks a lot better. $3 and whatever it was. And that was just a date issue. This is the accurate number for passive income. I apologize for just noticing that. Um, but anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much. You can see the prices. Don't forget you can download this exact spreadsheet and do your own analysis. Go to unm.nu or bronco.tv. Download this. Do your own projections. Come up with your own goals to achieve your own life-changing wealth. Or check out the coins I own and my portfolio allocation, how bullish I am with my targets, whatever it may be. I'm here to help you. I'm very transparent with all of you. I have nothing to hide. I've gotten life-changing wealth through crypto. I want you to get life-changing wealth through crypto. And I'm still building up my crypto even though i've already gotten life changing wealth i want my life to change with friends and family and do what i want in life um getting greedy i guess but i mean the prices are down prices are down what does that mean buy the dip and if it dips some more buy it again buy some more just keep buying the dips um anything else to really talk about here my mic seems good it keeps saying low system resources so but my cpu is below 60 percent now it jumped up to 100 my cpu seems to have stabilized it says low system resources but hopefully you're hearing me all right i'll proofread this on youtube after i upload it yeah it's going to shut down the prices for now uh, is there anything else I wanted to cover? George is still talking, doing his live stream, so I'll keep going with my, it's not a live stream, but my recording right now. Uh, let's go and start sharing my phone. So I have to stop sharing here. And now, share content. Oh, I thought I already changed it. Nope, oh, there we go. Share content. Come on. Okay. Okay. This is a picture of Swizzle and my board game friends, their dog Bailey. Uh, this is from many years ago. They're both much younger dogs. Of course, Swizzle's passed on now, but love those two dogs very fondly. I'm glad I get to see Bailey on Fridays for board game night. She's an awesome dog. And then Swizzle, she'll never be gone from my memory, from my heart. I, her spirit lives on. I love that little dog. Love you, Swizzle. Um, she's resting in peace, but I'm sure she's busy in the spirit world. Um, she's got to look after me still. So that's a job in itself. And these are roses uh, from around, I think these were from around Mother's Day. So, um, 
a lot of the red roses have fallen off, but I still have a couple out there. I'm hoping that I'll see some red roses throughout the summer. I know there's usually times where it's just the plant, just the bush, but um, even though I don't have over a dozen right now, I might have two or three that are really nice looking out there right now. As This is from Mother's Day. They came out very nice. Um, I'm sure my grandpa and Swizzle enjoyed them since their memorial plaques are right down there too. Hope you enjoy them. This is the food from Mother's Day. Round one, I believe, got an omelet, all sorts of meat, protein, oysters, all that good stuff. A strange combination. I'm a strange eater, especially at buffets, but I enjoyed it. Family for Mother's Day, all the good mothers, and love my family, love my friends, love all of you out there. Again, thank you for all of your support. Um, there we are. This is a pretty epic game of food chain magnet. Um, <sighs> Yeah, uh, we totally loaded the table here. It's a very fun game. In this game, my board game friend loaded up on essentially being McDonald's, building up his HR staff um, and having the best executive team imaginable, and he crushed me. He crushed me in both games. The first game, he just outproduced me, outmarketed me. The second game, he just had, again, he was McDonald's to me being a small burger chain. So I had no chance. I need to get better at this game. I don't think I've ever won at this game, but it's a lot of fun. It's a pretty cool game. I highly recommend it, the different strategies you can take. I need to quit going after the waitress strategy. They're a way to get cheap money, but for a long-term strategy it's not worth it it's hard to win with them um at least the way i play they are a tiebreaker so i just need to be a little bit more balanced to my approach but anyway this is a kale salad from vinaigrette which is an awesome salad place here in albuquerque this is the all kale caesar with anchovies you can see it here good dressing this is a video from old town tiguay park last sunday we didn't know there was going to be a car show there uh, there are hundreds of cars parked. Very cool. There's like a Volkswagen bug that was all hippied out. Uh, you do marijuana or whatever in there. It had the purple colors, the plush seats. It actually isn't even a vehicle anymore. It's like it didn't have seats or a steering wheel or anything. It was just a VW bug that was totally 70'd out, or I don't know what you want to call it. Um, Cheech and Chong would have been proud of it. But um, other cool cars. There was like a blue car with three surfboards on top of the car uh which made the top part of the car where the sunroof normally is and those were surfboards blue just sparkly very cool a lot of old cars a fun event it's nice to see the community come together here in albuquerque this was swizzle dog last sunday at blackbird coffee this was a male dog much younger but it sure reminded me of swizzle look at this cute little thing Let's see if i can zoom in there there's Swizzle, just kind of walking the way Swizzle would, just to get comfortable on a lap there. And then looking around right there. Uh, everything reminds me of Swizzle. Again, I'll never forget that dog mate of mine. And this was food from Matucci's the other night. Uh, they have a chicken rotisserie special on Sundays with sweet potato mashed and broccolini. Very good. This little lizard, you'll see it down here running across my backyard. And there it goes a little bit and then a little bit more. It's a slow video. There we go. There it goes running to my frog solar light. And then running across under the bench there. Love my lizards. Always have, always will. This was a tofu kale salad my mom tried tonight. And then this was my lamb from vinaigrette. My arugula. And I think that's it. So I'm going to shut it down there. Let me go ahead and quit sharing. Stop broadcasting. Get back to my... Just normal stuff. I got to do the Bronx Fire. Got to do my disclaimer. Let me make sure that everything's recording. It says my audio is still working, so I think I finally fixed that issue. Thank goodness. And my laptop hasn't frozen. Might be a little bit choppy on YouTube from time to time. I'll never be able to fully get rid of that because I'm validating in the background. And it... It's way more intense than I would have thought it would be. Sure, it's less intense than actually mining Bitcoin, but it's still pretty CPU and computer intense. Way more than I would have thought, as I mentioned. So 
Let me share the screen again. Still Planet Finance open. That's my number one project right now. Still bullish on Energy Web Token. I'm keeping an eye on Terra, and George is still doing his live stream. He's still rambling on like I am. So there's stuff I'm keeping an eye on. But really, for the short term and indefinite future, it's probably going to be all Planet Finance. I'll try to squeeze some EWT Energy Web Token in there. Possibly Safe Moon, but I'm kind of Safe Mooned out. I built that up kind of where I want it to be, and it's been holding strong compared to the dip. It's been my best performance coins since Cinco de Mayo, the crash, I believe. So but anyway, you know what time it is? It's time for me to share sounds. I think I'm sharing sound. Um, okay, let me go ahead and do the... Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Monday night. Ten people died in the Bronx last night due to a fire that killed ten people in the Bronx last night during a fire. Fire officials say all 10 people died due to the fire. Can't wait for the NBA to pick up again tomorrow night. Uh, Suns in Dallas. Uh, Suns in Dallas. Uh, Golden State in Dallas, Miami. You and them got in you. This is the disclaimer. This is not financial advice. The information from you and them, any of these other likenesses, is provided for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness. So please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified of all future videos which come out from the channel. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're looking forward to the next one, and take care.